If I need this derivative, I need the product rule. The derivative of the first function of x times the second function kept the same. Plus the first function kept the same times the derivative of the second oh, okay. <laughs> times the derivative of the second function. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. There we go. I've taken the derivative of this term. Now I need to subtract it by the derivative of this term. And since I need the product rule again, and there's a subtraction sign, I'm going to protect the result of the product rule in parentheses. So it's the derivative of the first term times the second term kept the same. Plus the first term kept the same times the derivative of the second term. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And then we can, uh, we can clean this up. These terms can't combine because one has x and one has x squared. I can subtract the e to the x. I can subtract the x e to the x. Distribute that minus sign. Let's see what's it like. You got two x e to the x minus x e to the x. So now you've got one x e to the x. And then up here we still have x squared e to the x. And then we have a minus e to the x to finish it out. So there we go. That's what it looks like once we've simplified.